In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your terminal to create integrated maps in seconds. So you have ever uh, used geospatial data. Uh, commonly, you might visualize the data in desktop GIS, for example, QGIS, or you can use Python to visualize them. But it takes time, and also it takes a lot of resources to run desktop GIS. In this video, I'm going to show you how just one command line. It's very quick, and it's going to be very useful. Especially, you just want to see what the data looks like without having to open desktop GIS or uh, create a Jupyter notebook. And so, I'm going to show you step by step how to you um, um, visualize the data easily. First, you need to install the LeapMap uh, Python package. So you can go to the LeapMap website, or you can just open your terminal. So for me, I'm just going to go to my um, desktop, and then from here you can just create a conda environment so if you have a uh, conda install you can just create a uh, conda create this n and maybe vig and then python equal to 3.12 so this is one time only uh, you don't have to install it every time but it's a great one that um, you can install and then forget about it so we're going to install the package it's only take a couple of seconds then we can install the leaf map python package okay once it's installed now i can Conda activate VIG. Okay, so let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here and let me clear the terminal. And once you have this, then you can just uh, pip install and double quotes leave map viewer. So the command is in the video description below. Just hit enter, it should be able to uh, retrieve the package from PyPI. Then it's going to install the package. Once it's done, then in the future, you can just um, use one single command line to visualize any data. It can visualize data from your local computer, or it can also visualize data from the internet from, through HTTP uh, URL. So I'm going to show you uh, two different ways. Okay, so now I'm done. In here, on my computer, I have a couple of sample data set here. I have one large imagery. I have two vector data, GeoJSON, and also GeoParquet. So let's see how we can visualize the data. First, I'm going to show you how to visualize the raster data set. So all you need to do is just view uh, hyphen raster, and then you can pass in, for example, the file name RGB and that's it. So uh, there are some uh, optional parameters. I don't need to uh, um, specify them if you just want to use the default settings. So view raster and then just the file name. That's it. So it's going to open the imagery in your browser and this, this is the imagery right so it's an interactive map and you can see i don't it's literally it's in seconds you don't need desktop gis you don't need python programming just one single command line also in the bottom right corner here uh there's a slider bar that allows you to let me move my camera so bottom right here you see the slider bar that allows you to change the opacity of the imagery so it's very nice and also you're going to see the some roster information here how many bands width and height and also the file name and that's it right so very easy um just one command line if you want to control for example the visualization if you want a different band combination if you like sometimes you have multi-spectral bands you want to change the main combination you can do that easily so i'm going to go back to the terminal here and you can press ctrl c to stop it after that you can just uh use the same command line but from here right now we can use uh, this this indices okay so for the indices you can have um one or you can have multiple for example i just want to visualize band three if you just visualizing one single band you can specify a color map so this can be useful if you're visualizing let's say temperature data soil moisture wind speed or something like that and you want to have color map so any color map available to map probably you can just specify the name so for example here i use color map jet and that's it take a look super nice and it's very easy to customize you can even specify the minimum and the maximum value if the default one is not um optimal so i'm going to go back to here Control c stop it and um you can specify v mean oops let me zoom in a little bit here. V mean and then can specify a value and hyphen hyphen um v max. Okay, so here you can specify maximum value. For example, if your imagery is kind of a too 
stack, then you want to set as lowest threshold. For example, I can say 150, then it's going to be much brighter. Okay, see now I have a lot more red color in here. So this is super easy to do. You can do one single bang, multi-spectral bang. So let me show you how to do multi-spectral bang, like different bang combination. Earlier, we only use um, indices three. That means bang three, but you can do three, comma, two, comma, one. All right? So no space, just comma, and then the bang combination. Hit enter. Oops. Oh, if you specify the bank combination, then you don't want to specify the color map. So you need to remove all the color map because it's a multi-spectral band. Just remove them, then it should work. See, now we have this imagery. Of course, this is not the natural color because we use a different bank combination. But you get the idea. You can easily visualize geospatial data and watch the imagery easily just using one command line. And you open this one. So under the hood, it's going to use local type server to actually render the type dynamically and that's why it's still running in the terminal uh, if you control c then you'll not be able to visualize that because it's an imagery is retrieving the types on the fly uh, from the data okay so this is for uh, raster imagery from my local computer of course you can also visualize them um, from a remote basic got so here i have some of the files hosted on hugging face and i can just Maybe select one of those. Similarly, I'm going to copy this one, copy the URL. After that, I can come back to my terminal and you can do the same thing. I say view raster, then just paste the URL, hit enter. It should open the browse in your uh, the the, uh, the browser tab, and now I can visualize them the same way. So, but for files on um, HTTP URL, it might be a little bit slower. So you do want to. Uh, be careful about what kind of a, a file you want to uh, visualize and make sure that they are not too big otherwise it might be a little bit slow okay so this is for raster data set next i'm going to show you how to visualize vector data set so Control c and then clear all the output so i have um, uh so it supports any vector data set supported by geopandas so it can be geojson swap file geo package geo packet you name it so same thing view um this vector and then just passing the file name so here i have this geojson represent all the cities uh, around the globe then just one click uh hit enter uh, see now i have all the cities this is really nice and you can click you will be able to see the uh two tip also upper right upper left corner here there's a view layer so you can actually a vector layer allows you to uh, turn the layer on and off so by default it's using the dark matter um, base map but you can change it so any base map available through uh, leaf map you can use it so let me go back to here and different from the raster imagery this one is creating an html in your um, temporary directory so the terminal is actually finished execution, so it's no longer running. So the file is saved uh, to your temporary directory on your computer. So now I can create a new one. So here I can specify this this style liberty. So liberty is like from open free map uh, base map. So I hit enter. Now you should see a different base map. So take a look. Now I have a different base map. So it's very easy to customize and then just one click. Also here you can turn into 2D and 3D. Uh, very very easy to uh, create so this is using geojson but as i mentioned you can use any vector data set available um commonly uh, use vector data set so for example i can say view um vector and then i'm going to visualize this geo parquet file hit enter oops uh okay so this one you need to install the uh pi arrow dot parquet so let me see if it works if you for parquet file you do need to do that so pip or you can use conda i'm not quite sure if this one is available through here or not if not then you can use conda conda install this uh, conda course and then install this one if once it's installed then you should be able to visualize them okay so this is different ways of visualizing um raster data vector data directly from the uh, command line.
Okay, so I hope you find it useful. Now you know how to visualize geospatial data easy without having to open desktop.js or using a Jupyter notebook. Just one command line and you can do easy visualization in taking map. Um, one line, one command line. Okay, that's all. I will hope to you to see you in the next uh, video.